uh, a very good evening everyone uh, thank you for attending uh, and uh, uh, I am one of the directors at ProThoughts. Uh, and today uh, we are going to talk about one important topic about agile methodology and how what is its importance in the sixth edition of PM Bok. Okay, it's going to be a quite interesting topic as such. Okay, uh, because agile for the first time which was in kind of a competition with pmp or a pm box is introduced in the pm box so i think it's kind of a game changer from a marketing perspective of pmi and i want to talk about how agile is covered today in the pm box okay so i think a lot of participants joining uh, it's called good schedule management. They're joining at typical eight o'clock. So very nice. Okay. Uh, so I'm going a little slow. Uh, so so for for some people who are already there, they know me. Uh, yeah. So they they know me. I think my screen is not visible. I guess. So one sec. Yes. Uh, yeah, sorry about that. Okay, so I had paused my screen. Okay, so some of you already know me, but for some others who are joined new, um, it's a little profile about myself. Okay. Uh, so some of the rules. Uh, of the webinar you can always ask me interrupt me at any point of time i love interactive charts and uh, chats and conversations so interrupt me at any point of time ask a question if i mean to if you need me to unmute you i will unmute you so that you can ask me questions or if you want me to uh, no uh, no you want to type in the questions kind of panel you can write in question panels and probably i can pick up the question and answer your question at any point of time there is this hand you can raise the hand click on that you can or you have a question just click or no press this question mark or raise your hand and you are there so i will i will be happy to answer as many questions as i have okay and uh, no, I have reserved even a last 15 to 20 minutes for the questions. So, so no, you can always you no know, ask me any questions as you wish. Okay, okay. There are some more people who are joining. Okay, I think they you know it's like okay very nice so i i will now start for the sake of the people who are already joined okay so i hope you can see the agenda screen everyone i guess so okay if anyone want can type yes in the questions or chat i will i will be grateful so that you now we know that we are on the right track if any issues of audio etc please please let us know there is a support number given in the chat to connect if there is any issue regarding the webinar can anyone tell me if everything is okay you can see the screen of agenda then we'll pick up space okay thanks Deepin. thank you so much okay uh, uh so let's let's move ahead okay uh what i'm going to talk is about the introduction okay uh no a little bit about agile history uh very interesting and uh, uh no why the pm walk editions are revised okay why what why agile is now in sixth edition it's my perspective of course and what agile aspects are covered in the sixth edition okay and then probably I will do a very high level key differences between agile and waterfall. They are all scattered over the internet, but I will give my spin on that. And the the different certifications are avail available in agile today in the market. Okay, so I have reserved some time for question and answers. If anyone have, would have that 
and that's how we'll end the session okay my bandwidth it provides i'm turning on my webcam so some people can probably one sec see me yes i think you can see me one sec i think and i have you it up okay i think it's now visible okay sorry about that so i think now it's visible so uh, so we will okay go to the introduction okay for people who do not know pro thoughts oh uh, uh, this is okay we only focus on project management and we are growing in in project management trainings in softwares and we were very honored by economic times to be selected one of the top 50 companies okay we are two offices in mumbai and pune and we are customers across middle east and in asia okay so this is what pro thoughts is and we are very much focused in generating content and and building courses various courses in project management so we call ourselves as one stop solutions on project management succeed with your projects is our motto okay so one of our key focus is the learning solutions and and agile is definitely one of the buzzwords today in in the industry uh, <clears throat> so let me now come to the 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 meat of things okay i think a lot of you know about pmi okay it started like you no know, almost 50 years back and and today it's a non profit organization and and they promote project management and today uh, they are kind of 833 pmp certified professionals okay and PMI SAP, which is another certification offered in PMI focused on Agile, there are 19,634, almost 20,000 certified professionals. Uh, but a quick thing about that, the Agile certification has witnessed an year and year growth in the last four years tremendously high. There were almost in 2014, almost around 1000 2013 i guess around 1000 1500 agile certified professional which has grown 20000 in the last four years a, a tremendous exponential jump there in terms of the professionals in this certification and and surprisingly the growth is in asia pacific one of the leading countries is none other than china okay so uh, this is where the growth is okay uh, in terms okay pmp certified professional also have witnessed a very good high growth so overall project management uh, just to know because you guys are from that space is witnessing a good growth in terms of certifications which means there is a good growth in terms how the projects are managed or there are good growth in number of projects as well we can infer that relatively easy okay uh right okay yeah there's some more who have joined okay oh very good okay so <clears throat> uh if you cannot see the screen for the people who have joined just recently if you cannot see the screen or have any questions just use the questions panel or type in the chat and i will be here happy to in get interrupted and answer your questions okay any issue just interrupt me okay uh, now the history of agile uh, people say it is as recent as 2001 but you no know, if you happen to know i i read a lot and if you happen to see the the iterative which is kind of agile iterative means as opposite to sequential uh, the pmp uh, method is called the waterfall which is a predictive kind of a method proactive uh, which waterfall means if you you know the water falls you can't go back to the same water again you know you know what i mean okay it's like sequential okay whereas in iterative okay you can 
actually go back okay and do certain changes and you no know, iterate okay you do the same things again and again till the customer or the okay stakeholder is happy with your own thing okay i believe waterfall is also iterative in that sense because we actually planning in waterfall or even a change management there is iteration i can go back and change anything till the customer is happy but yeah so the concept of project management overall remain the same but iterative has a different way of doing things and this different way of doing things can be traced as early back as early as 1957 okay so in wikipedia you can actually see some iterative and incremental development methods <clears throat> and i'm using the word development because uh, this agile is manifested or or born through a concept in a development method in software development because they wanted to change requirements often because people were not clear with the requirements and that was they were the people there were finding it quite difficult to do that changes okay and therefore this iterative and incremental method which are kind of different from the waterfall were kind of evaluated since 1957 okay so the heavy weight methods they call it is the waterfall method okay which which the critics call is is highly regulated planned or micromanaged okay so so as an unbiased party everything has a pro or a con okay but but finally in 2001 okay uh, formally there were 17 software developers who met in a resort in, in us and 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 discussed this lightweight development methods so what were the development methods there were many um one was of course scrum which was now the popular agile method there can be a kanban there can be a extreme programming there can be various method but the 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 common theme across this method was that it was iterative or incremental iterative means coming back and and redoing the stuff till it no no people or stakeholders accept it incremental means you are adding a certain set of more functionality to already develop things okay one at a time that is increment okay uh, so they they came and published the the manifesto for agile software development okay i will just discuss that manifesto in the coming slides but that's where uh, people believe that agile was born okay typically these were all software development guys okay and therefore agile was typically seen from a software development projects okay one of these guys is jeff sutherland and there was one japanese person okay uh, they have done this iterative methods in toyota as well okay kanban is uh, another kind of popular method okay and 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 so it's not typically for software development but but the mindset when that was developed it typically um, you know with that projects in mind okay so okay so one of the key features of agile movement which they call and which has picked up from 2010 okay is is the rapid feedback okay and willingness to change okay i think uh, that's what we call the agile mindset okay um, agile mindset is is typically when i say a project manager's mindset is different from agile mindset agile mindset is that you are quite flexible you are willing to change and and you give immediate feedback whereas a project manager's mindset you no know, is is more focused on getting the objectives done okay there is a little subtle difference between the both the things but but here here the idea is is a little different where you say that okay i am not sure about the requirements i keep on you no know, i will most welcome all the changes although the project manager also there does that and we have a change management system there 
but the typical mindset is uh, of a project manager more of a controlling mindset here is is more of an open mindset so no uh, so there is a nice um, uh, uh, no phrase that is about no agile is more of a rugby game and then a relay race okay uh, so uh, so if if you see the scrum the anyone knows what is that scrum name has come from people who who follow rugby can actually know the word scrum okay which is the uh, popular methodology scrum okay if anyone knows i will be happy to hear that okay okay so i don't know if anyone watches rugby uh, anyone watches rugby you can raise your hand no okay yeah it's not so popular sport here okay i also do not watch so i have read about that but yes okay hemant you have yes yes yeah hemant correct yeah team huddle before the start of the play yeah so so uh, even not even the start of the play i think you no know, during uh, uh no they the way they 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 form a queue and and then they 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 uh, no uh, no come uh, no one against each other no with the heads bang on to each other uh, that that position is called the scrum okay that is the word scrum or scrummage that you call or it's called scrum it happens uh, uh, at every every time during the entire rugby game so it it happens during the start it happens uh, when you need to start again so people there is you uh, know one team with their people on one side and they 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 start it again and then they pass the ball so it it is like they start again everything one at a time till they get it right so that's that's kind of a philosophy of a rugby game where the project manager they say it's more of a transition or relay race where it's more sequential although i do not agree entirely to that okay here also the relay uh, relay race can be uh, the race cannot be completed unless the baton is passed effectively and you can actually come back to the first runner if he is not done his job so there is a mechanism to to have iteration in pmp but the philosophy of a uh, agile is like a rugby game where you you can start every time if you want to you know and and know the way they stand it's called a scrum as well as this is more sequential okay at a very high level okay so two things are clear okay one that agile is although is more focused on technology agile can be used in different kinds of projects and second agile branches will continue to spread to improve innovation processes in every function that's what i think a lot of this agile is kind of spreading to other kind of industries i we we get a lot of participants from different industry nowadays in project management it's not only confined to it or the construction which is i think a very good sign okay uh i told you for some i think some people would be uh, very much aware of the agile manifesto and it's quite popular uh, today okay uh, uh they say individuals and i'm just reading out this slide just excuse me for that but that's very important because agile manifesto is this what these 17 developers okay or agile practitioners decided to do that and they said individuals or interactions or processes and tools okay working software or comprehensive documentation customer collaboration or contract negotiation and responding to change or following a plan okay uh, they say that okay okay we value this then that although they say that everything is important all the eight items are right and left parts are important but we value this more uh, than other uh, to be honest okay uh, i find this more of a comparison with the pmp but yes okay um this is more or less if if i i happen to be a practitioner of project management i would i would actually agree with this okay whether i am pmp certified or agile certified 
So all this is important, but Agile typically focuses on that and tries to delineate from the PMP methodology. PMP also focuses on all the similar type side items as well, I would think so. Okay. Uh, right. Now coming to the PM Bock and the PMI. Okay. Uh, the PM Bock has as as has evolved right from 1996 and today in 2018 we are on the sixth edition of 2000 uh, of pm Bok. okay uh, and typically every three to five years they have been changing the edition right so so who who changes this editions okay that's a very relevant questions and i had conducted uh, another session when the sixth edition had come and this was a very pertinent slide at that to know why pm Bok editions are revised okay first of all let me tell you pm Bok is written by project managers like you and me okay uh, so this this these are the people who contribute to the standards and they will only write what they have practiced okay so PM Walk is a reflection of the current best practices of projects. So it's kind of a laggard, laggard in the sense that whatever happened in the last two three years that has been, you know, come in the in in, in the PM Walk edition. Okay, so which we call it the current best practices of the project. Okay, it's like a framework. Okay, PM Walk suggests the best practices the correct were generally recognized practices of projects okay we call it good practices which is a proven practices in the project okay so every time you know we experiment we find new lessons learned new things to come back project management and that becomes the revision point in the next edition okay so it constantly evolving okay like i said every three to five years the standards are revised in the pm book for the pm book right so why agile okay in the sixth edition a very valid question why agile in the sixth edition is a very very valid question uh why because now if i see uh, a lot of things have changed from the last 20 years uh, to this stage okay uh, the project management environment uh, i also call it decision environment has become more complex okay than what was there 20 years back okay the pace of life the pace of decision making has 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 increased manifold okay uh, you need to make quick decision making you need to see quick results and and in any environment i'm talking of a large project okay or a large product okay uh, everything is interdependent and and unless we have the data it's you no know, today we don't have that much data to actually take a, a decision based on the data I mean, the rational data is hardly available so we use our intuition and and we are with multiple choices in the current environment to take decisions so the environment is becoming more complex as we are growing okay so that's why project management things getting the things done right okay is becoming more important if there is any scientific method that's why the project management as a discipline is also gaining importance 20 years back it would not become so much of important because there were not much interdependencies. It was a straight linear line. It's more, so more of a controlling authority, a little uncertainty, and that's how it was. Now things are changing. Also, most of the project or most of the project where I use the word marketing buzz, okay, most of the project where there is a buzz of you no, know, who can make a marketing buzz are the big companies like google microsoft and that's where they have just spread on social media etc and these people are product companies and and they do projects in a different way they can actually experiment a lot as well and these are the companies who are doing 
okay agile projects okay amazon is a company which does pmp waterfall projects and i know that because i have interacted with people in that companies okay so so pmp also like i said reflect the current times of the project as well okay so so that's where agile has become a part of the pm work although mind you pmi also offers a complete focus certification on agile methodology which is called pmi sap agile certified professional okay that's a different certification like i said that's a growing certification okay so what today's project manager what it demands is that he this pm work is just a framework okay it tells the project manager to choose and tailor his own methodology as it suits his or her project but agile okay has become important iterative the way you do the project is become important and therefore pmi thought to be included in the pm work which is their popular mainstay certification okay uh so uh so what and it is more from a marketing point of view i uh, it makes a lot of sense for them to combat competition as well but that's where they have introduced the agile in the sixth edition okay now coming to what 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 agile aspects are covered okay what is or to what extent agile is covered in the sixth edition okay so agile alliance there is scrum alliance there are different institutions which provide certifications or how you can manage agile projects so agile projects there are many frameworks or many you no know, agile kind of certification you can call kanban also agile you can call extreme programming agile you can call scrum agile so different ways to manage a agile project okay so by agile alliance there is a addendum of agile which is covered in the pm box okay but i don't think pm box covers agile for agile certification there is another certification pm is what pm box is suggesting in the 6th edition is that this is a framework the project manager can choose which project life cycle he needs to use whether is productive or adaptive adaptive is agile for your project it can be a combined approach called hybrid approach where you can have both this agile as well as pmp methodology in the same project so agile is just covered to an extent that how it matters how it is done for say scope management okay how you will do agile in a scope management so the addendum i don't think will be answered in question so pm box is focused on the what was there in the fifth edition i don't think it has diverged from the original thing but it has introduced agile so in the seventh edition probably you will have more matter of agile if the certification picks up okay but it has told you in its scope how you will do it in agile for example the scope would be decided by stakeholders of course but the team would have authority to manage it and they can do in incremental fashion okay called sprints okay but we don't need to learn about agile terminologies okay we don't have to remember the agile uh, uh, no uh, the 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 lexicon of agile so to 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 score marks in the pm okay for that okay we have pmi sap certification from pm okay so so agile is covered there or it has been mentioned there but i don't think it has done full justice to agile it is just telling you that a project manager can tailor the processes as the project requires that's it anyone has any questions so far okay because maybe i'm covering it you no know, in a very short way about things okay there can we can go on and on but if there are any questions maybe i can put my own perspective on that
No questions? Okay. Right. So Nero has one question. Okay. Uh, one of the myth is PMP generic and agile is specific to soft. Uh, yeah, you can call that as a myth, Nero. Okay. Yes. Uh, no. Uh, yeah. Uh, so agile was designed or or like the agile manifesto is prepared typically by the software developers okay so so and agile is typically used in that industry but now it is getting expanded uh, to different industries even uh, for you know in my my understanding even pmp was first tested in software and uh, you no know, construction now it is getting expanded to other fields uh, why so because there have been projects practice in a little scientific way in these two industries so so i'm sure uh, there would be a project manager in construction who will see that okay he can do agile for say a design project somewhere uh, in construction as well so uh, so i think uh, both have its own utility and and uh, no uh, and typically i will address one thing at, at in the next slide about the differences okay and giving my spin on that uh, so like Okay, waterfall is is a predictive life cycle. So I I predict or I am being very proactive okay, uh, about what what is going to happen next. Whereas uh, agile, I am going to adapt to the situation. So it's like we call it iterative. This is we call it sequential. Okay, uh, but if you look at both the things, I think the concept of project management more or less is the same. Okay. The idea of project management always plan, you execute, and then you check whether your plan is as per as your execution and you take corrective actions. Now, the only thing in Agile is that the plan is the project. And if you have to take a corrective action, it's another project. So if you if I divide you know, overall the waterfall into different kind of sprints, I will get agile. Okay. But there is a distinction here in terms of the mindset of the, when you actually start doing the project in agile the mindset is completely different no the the objectives with which you are going to start the project is little different there will be a different environment there will be different kind of uh, people surrounding you so they they know what to expect in an agile project so the mindset and the environment different whereas in project manager you have a goal you you need you actually know you know you need to go there uh, whatsoever Okay, so you have a little more controlling mindset. So the way you will manage a project will be different than what you will manage in Agile. But to me, I think concept-wise, both the projects, the project remains same. Project management overall same. Even if I do Prince 2, it will be same. Even if I do PMP, it will be same. It will do Agile, it will be same. Okay. Okay. Uh, so what they call it is an Agile. Probably the team is the decision maker. The project manager is just a coordinator okay he is just a conduit between the the product owner who is you know giving uh, requirements to the team to to do the uh, project okay whereas here the project manager ultimate authority in the waterfall model with the pmp model okay so so there are there are distinctions and so in in agile you need to be sure that there is a diverse skill set available in the team okay uh, of course in also pmb but PMP, you can take that decision, but here the team is decision that the, the gelling of the team is important. So implementing agile is a very difficult task if, to get it right. Okay. And there are some agile coaches and everything that. Um, so even implementing PMP is difficult for that matter, but, but no. So, so these are, these are some of the differences. There can be n number of differences. Now I can take a webinar on what is agile and what is waterfall how you do testing how you build the cases so so that's that's how it is so uh, any any questions on this uh, maybe if there are any questions maybe i can actually give more more you know things perspective to that okay Okay, so 
today in the market okay uh, we have different certification pmi is the most popular body strongest body as well they have the muscle power and they offer the pmi sap and 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 the oldest and the most popular one is the scrum master okay you can have the scrum professional as well which is i'm talking from a project management point of view but there's a scrum professional which is a little higher than the scrum master okay which are the popular certifications uh, of today okay axelos which offers sprints to has also started sprints to agile so everyone is on the buzzwords there are a lot of other frameworks for agile which i mentioned okay so this this is a different certifications how to choose a certification for agile maybe we can actually have a comparison of every we can that's something which i thought that i should use that for another webinar topic but uh, 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 there are you no know, principally i think more or less everything will be same okay it's about the acceptance in the industry which will matter now okay so 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 from academic knowledge i think everyone would be saying uh, it's been said that pmi uh, has the toughest exam among all of them and i think uh, that's one thing has pmi has the charm of having the exam tough so that at least people have that kind of a credential acceptability of that you know certification so uh, we can always discuss it in a separate webinar on this yeah um so we are okay having our uh, no people are already joined okay uh, upcoming trainings on on different cities you know i just put a date on this may and june uh, so so mumbai is on this saturday uh, pune is on the next saturday hyderabad is on the first week of june and i think the third week of june uh, uh, we have ahmedabad and mumbai as well so these are uh, the certifications that we have we offer all this program we are starting with pmi sap uh, from august 2018 and with mike griffith okay that's a very popular book of agile uh, we are going to start because we are already the exclusive distributors of rita mulkai and we'll get this book so we will actually coach you on this book as well uh, so that's that's one one addition and uh, that we'll have so we will we are starting in a big way on online courses and and going to start a variety of courses online as well so this is all about it we we have a good traction on the pgmp and ms project if anyone would be interested and we run webinars for that as well yeah uh, so in a nutshell okay uh, what i wanted to tell okay uh, before we move to the uh, uh, the question and answer just wanted to in a nutshell wanted to uh, suggest that agile and uh, pm bock methodology are different yet can be combined in a project okay and that's what the pm bock 6 edition says that you can adopt a hybrid approach okay uh, the pm bock 6 edition will not necessarily have questions on agile okay i have not uh, uh no seen any questions on agile on the pm box 6 edition the exam okay so agile methodology offers many different certification there are different bodies which offer different certifications so you need to choose what suits you your industry your company and where you are located at okay uh typically agile was started where requirements are not clear and therefore needed a lot of more iteration when you are designing a product developing constructing a product you are not very clear and that's where in a software development the agile is typically more used than in other environments okay like i said okay because you know, most of people were little afraid agile karna hai ke pm bock karna hai so pm bock offers you the flavor of agile if you need to use it in project not extensively agile okay it just gives a flavor okay for more detailed certification you can you know try any other certification available in the market 
So I hope guys, uh, you now you got a flavor of what is Agile, how it is used in PM Box 6th edition in the available time and try to give you a little history, a snapshot of Agile, uh, a snapshot of 6th edition, how it was conceptually constructed and got you a flavor of what is coming your way. Uh, so, so I hope it was useful for you. Okay, a good knowledge session for you. Uh, we are doing on a weekday. I know your life is hectic and thanks for joining the webinar. So if you have any questions, uh, please let me lay, you know, please, please ask me and we'll happy, very happy to answer your questions. Any questions, anyone? No questions. Okay, so so if you have more questions about anything, okay, uh, write us, try to info at prothos.co.in or you know, uh, call us at this number. We will be very happy at, to help you. Uh, we will have a recorded session for you guys, okay? So you can go through that again if it makes sense okay and uh, uh, thank you very much for 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 joining the webinar if you have suggestions on any topic of webinars which you want to us to take or our guests we have a guest faculty as well so so guest speakers as well so you know we can actually arrange that as an on-demand webinar for you guys uh, thank you so much and just uh, one poll if you can do that very quickly okay before you no. Sign off. Thank you so much. Uh